But we do begin with that breaking news on our economy. The Federal Reserve announcing its decision not raising interest rates. The decision coming now after weeks of inflation and that inflation report showing that in the U.S. it seems to be cooling off. ABC News business correspondent Lisa Christopher is joining me now. Also our Elizabeth Schulze live at the White House. Okay, so Alexis, it hasn't changed. It hasn't changed, but it's the first time that's happened, Kira, in 15 months. This decision from the Federal Reserve to take a break, as it were, to skip this meeting and not hike interest rates was pretty well telegraphed. A lot of Fed officials, including Fed Chair Jerome Powell, had been dropping hints for weeks that they might actually take a moment and reassess where the economy is following that string of 10 interest rate hikes since last March, the, the fastest pace of interest rates hikes we've seen since the 1980s. Um, so they want to just take a breather and see what that has been doing to the economy, coupled with the fact that we had three bank failures in the spring. That's also putting a drag on the economy and tightening lending standards by the banks. So I think it's important to note, while the Fed may be um, pausing this time around, this doesn't mean they're done uh, raising interest rates. Uh, we could indeed see another hike at their July meeting or their September meeting, because remember, inflation is not where the Fed wants it to be. The target for the Fed is to get inflation down to 2%. It's getting better. The pace of inflation is slowing, but it's still at 4%. We're all still paying about $260 more every month for the same goods and services we were paying, uh, buying just a year ago. So the Fed's work, still a lot to be done, but they're taking a moment here to sort of reassess uh, the state of the economy. So, Elizabeth, we have seen the Fed aggressively raise interest rates, the fastest pace in four decades. Why implement a pause now? And what does this mean, you know, moving uh, forward for future hikes? Kara, this is a really important moment for the economy and for the Federal Reserve. It has been on this mission where it's solely focused on trying to bring down inflation, trying to bring down the prices that we pay. And now it's taking a break to say maybe our mission is working and we need to take a step back and, and really stop these rate hikes, at least for the time being. The Federal Reserve kind of took this extraordinary step in how aggressive it was to try to bring down that 9% peak inflation rate that we saw last June, closer to the 4% number that we're seeing now of inflation. But it is still saying that's not low enough yet. And you see in this statement that the Federal Reserve just released that they want inflation to get back to 2%. That is the target that they set. So ultimately, it still could take some time to get there. What they're saying is, let's give it the economy a minute. Let's see how this unprecedented, really extraordinary action that we've taken over the past 15 months plays out. And then we'll decide if we need to do more after that. So Alexis, just give us a sense of the state of the economy a bit, the fears of a possible recession once again. There have been a lot of mixed signals regarding the health of the economy, and that's why this meeting was a bit complicated uh, for the Federal Reserve. And if you read into this uh, statement that the Fed issued today, it looks as though they are definitely keeping the door open for another interest rate hike come that July or September meeting. In fact, they are looking at possibly two more interest rate hikes this year before maybe thinking about cutting rates next year. And that's because two major things are happening. The unemployment rate continues to be very low, near a 50-year low in fact. So uh, they want to see an easing in the job market and they need to see inflation come down closer to that 2% level. And until they do, uh, higher interest rates is really the only tool they have to try and get the economy there. In terms of a recession, we've said it before, Kira, hard to think the economy can fall into a recession when you have unemployment the way it is and consumers, despite higher prices, continuing to spend. So, Elizabeth, the Federal Reserve wants to get inflation down to 2%. You've been talking about that. Inflation is currently up 4%. So how do they get us the rest of the way there? Well, and that's really the question. Do they need to hike interest rates more? Remember, the goal of these interest rate hikes is to slow down how much consumers, so how much you and I are going out and spending in the economy, how much businesses are lending in the economy with the aim of ultimately bringing down those prices that we pay. And while there is progress there, the Federal Reserve in this statement that it released shows that by the end of this year, inflation will still be around 3%. So what it's saying is that's still not close enough Maybe we have to do more. That's why, as Alexis said, there might be in this forecast that they're releasing two more additional rate hikes. Really, the question is going to be, when do they do those? And, and this really is kind of a new 
era of uncertainty. You know, up for up until now, Kira, every one of these Fed meetings, we've pretty much known what they're going to do. The Fed has taken a very deliberate stance to broadcast that it is on this mission to raise those borrowing costs for consumers and businesses, to try to make it more expensive, to try to fight inflation. And we're now entering a phase where it's not totally clear as we go into each meeting of the Federal Reserve, are they going to raise rates? Are they going to stay on hold? One thing that does seem clear, though, is they are not cutting interest rates. So as much as we want to see those mortgage rates, those credit card rates come down, probably going to be a while before that happens, Kira. All right, Elizabeth, Alexis, thank you, ladies. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.